The DTC-102 thermostat is a dual-stage digital temperature controller. Unlike the LED, the large lighted LCD screen display is easy to read, is glare-free and protects your eyes. Its dual relay output, it can control heating and cooling equipment at the same time. This unit works with a load up up to 10 ampere. It's usually applied in greenhouses, display refrigerators. Understand what the DTC-102 is showing to you. And which part does it have? As you can see, it has three main parts. Number one is a sensor that shows the temperature, the actual temperature on the sensor. If we touch it, the temperature is changing. The second part is a output, which is connected to the heating equipment or to the cooling equipment. And the third one, the most important thing, is the LED screen with the all the information that shows you. For example, the PV states the current temperature, the temperature that is shown at the sensor. The SV states for set temperature, which is the temperature which you want to set. The next point is CD, which is the cooling differential. Together with the HD, heating differential will be described later. AH states for high temperature alarm and AL states for low temperature alarm. The DP is the time of the compressor delay starting and the CA is a temperature calibration. So let's see what it is in the next video. As you see it can show the temperature but what if you want to see the temperature in Fahrenheit not in Celsius? So what should you do? You should long press the set button. As you can see, the set icon is lightened. Now you just press top or button, any button is okay. And you see we have Fahrenheit here. Okay, then you have to press the set button one more time for a long time. The set icon is not lightened. And now we have the Fahrenheit. So easy. Okay, so right now we're going to explain how to change the parameters of settings. But before we explain this, I would like to remind you one more time that you don't have to load or connect any equipment like heating or cooling equipment before you finish the settings. So first you set it, finish the settings and after that you can connect the heating or cooling equipment. This is very important. So how can we change the settings? This will be able to do and you long press the set button and you hear the setting mode is lightened here. So we can change any parameters that you want. First, the PV, as you know, is the temperature that we have right now, the actual temperature on the sensor. As you see, after 10 seconds, when I don't do any changes, it automatically exits the setting mode. So I have to press it again. Let's change the SV, which is the set temperature, the temperature that we, that we want to have. We have to press the set button and now we have the SV, which is uh, blinking here, you see. So we have to, for example, we have, now we have 25 and we want to change it to 25. So we just do as we want and then we have to cho choose another one like uh, CD, which is cooling differential, yeah? Now it's two, but we have to change it on three. So we just press the up button and we have three already. The next one is HD, which is heating differential. The same situation is applied with it. We just change the numbers into three. AH, as you know, is a high temperature alarm. We just don't, we don't, don't change anything. As well as the AL as the low temperature alarm. We don't change it right now. But now we are interested in DP, which is the uh, time of compressor delay starting. We can change it into, into any minutes that we want, two minutes, one minute, three minutes, as you wish. And then after this, oh, we have to long press the set button. And now we have the parameters that we need. So this is the way you can set it. Okay, so now we've finished setting all the parameters. Now we can start using our thermostat, right? So here we have the output to which we can connect the, as an example, we're using fan as an example of cooling and we're using lamp as an example of heating. 
okay? We also have cold water here to, <laughs> to, to see the cold effect, okay? So now, let's begin checking. Here we have the parameters as 28 and 22 degrees. The lowest uh, digit is 22 and the, the highest temperature is 28. So now, if we try the lowest temperature, as you see, after 22 degrees, when it gets less than 22 degrees, the heating mode is on. After we make the temperature a little bit higher than 22, the heating mode should turn off. You see, when it gets to 25, it turns off. But when it gets up to 28, the fan turns on. Okay, this is, this is easy to understand, right? But what happens if the temperature gets lower again? Do you remember the DP thing that we explained to you before? Now the temperature is low, yeah? And we want to make it high again, yeah? Just like here, for example, 28 degrees. 25 degrees, it turns off. But when it gets to 28, the fan, as you see right now, does not turn on, even though the cooling mode is on. Why is that? This is because the dp, the delay, this parameter is set to three minutes. So we have to wait for three minutes and only after that, the cooling mode will turn on the fan or your cooling device that you have right now. So we have to wait for some time. I hope you are patient enough. Okay, now you see we, we tested all the functions. But what happens if you want to get back to the factory settings? Yeah. If, for example, you, you, you set some numbers that is hard to change or takes a long time to change. It is very easy to do the factory settings. The only thing you have to do is just turn it off. Then press the set button, long press the set button and turn it on again. Now we have all the parameters that were set at the factory. So easy.